fifth grade lesson 51 and this one is on multiplying by two digit numbers okay so what I mean by that is this so far you've done something like this right mm -hmm. so you've learned how to do two digit numbers I mean well we're gonna learn today how to do two digit numbers on the bottom okay but what you've known so far is how to do one digit on the bottom so far, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so watch what happens. I'm going to go 2 times 3, right? And then I go this way, and 2 times 4 is 8. So my answer will be 86, right? Okay, uh -huh. now what I want you to see is we're not just going to be doing 43 times 2. We're going to do 43 times 12. Okay, okay. makes it a little bit harder, but it's not that difficult, okay? But I want you to understand in your mind what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So I want you to show I want to show you something. Okay. Let's just look at that two for just a second. Okay. What place is this two in? One. The one place. Okay. So if I multiplied forty three times two, I would get a certain answer, eighty six. Okay. Yeah. Well, what does that one indicate? What place is it in? Ten. Uh huh. So how much is this worth? Ten. Ten. So I'm multiplying forty-three times two, and then I'm more multiplying forty-three times ten. Okay. You get that? Yes. Sort of. Okay. So I, that's just an understanding of it. So let's do forty-three times two. We just did that. Got eighty-six. Now let's do forty-three times ten. And remember, you can hang your zero. Three times one is three, one times four is four, and bring your zero down. The answer being 430, okay? But my question was, what is 43 times 12? So I did 43 times 2 and 43 times 10 and got these two answers. So now I'm going to add them up. And I end up getting 8, 9, 10, 11, 516 as my total. Now, you don't have to make this into two problems like I just did. There's okay. actually a simpler way to do it, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. But do you understand how we did this? Yes. Okay, so now, watch what I do. You still start, math is a right to left kind of pro way you do things. Okay. okay, everything else in life you do left to right when you're okay. writing or reading or whatever. Okay, so you're going to start with this same number you're used to always starting with. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to circle it just to show me this is what number I'm working with right now. Okay. Okay, because you can only work with one number when you're multiplying at a time. Okay, so let's do this problem just like normal. Okay, pretend like this is not here. Okay, okay. so we're going to go 2 times 3 and get 6. Then we're going to go 2 times 4. Okay, so as I was saying, sorry about that. So 3 times 2 is 6, and then we're going to do this number, okay? So then we'll go 2 times 4 is 8, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, once you finish doing with that number like we would normally do, here's what I want you to do. Just put a little line through it, or you can put an X. That's to show you you're done with that number. Okay? okay. But we still have this one sitting over here, right? Yeah. Okay. So I want you to watch what I do. When I was working with this number, where did I write my first answer? Underneath it. Uh-huh. So when I work with this number, guess where I'm going to write my answer? Underneath, underneath it. it. Now there's already a number there, so I can't write on top of it. So I have to go underneath it. Okay, so uh -huh. watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this number. I'm going to circle it. And you still go right to left. Just like you did with this one. You went right to left. Here you're going to start here. We're going to go here. So what is 1 times 3? Three? 3. Okay. So remember what I told you? I'm going underneath it and writing my answer. Okay. It's kind of weird. Okay. Yeah. But just stay with me. Okay. Yeah. You got it. All right. Now I'm going to take this 1 and multiply it by the next number. What is 1 times 4? 4. Okay, I'm going to put it beside it. Okay? Oh, so you know how you, 3. You see how, watch what I did, because when we were working with this number, we started right here and moved to the left. Right? Mm -hmm. And then when we are working with this number, we started right here and moved to the left. Okay. Okay. Now, so we did 1 times 3 and 1 times 4. We got 43. Now, yeah. you're going to draw a line under that. Draw a line. Okay? And you're going to add these numbers together. Now, what should I do 
with these empty spots? Zero. Yeah, some people don't care about putting zeros, but I actually do. It helps me as well. Okay, so now let's perform the problem. Six plus zero is six. Eight plus three, 11. Carry the one. Five plus one, is, four plus one is five. Okay, 516. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. Okay, so I don't care how you do it. You can break it up by doing 43 times two, get your answer, and then do 43 times that place amount, how much it's worth, it's worth 10. It's not just worth one, it's worth 10. Mm -hmm. And do it that way and then add them all together and get your answer. Because when we did 43 times one, which was really 10, it's worth 10, we got 430, remember that? Mm -hmm. So then we took that 430 plus the 86 and got 516. Well, guess what? We actually did that down here, 86 plus 430. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. This one's a quicker way of doing it. This one makes more sense, understanding-wise it. You yeah. understand? Okay. So, which way do you like better? I like the way we just did. Okay. Okay. So, let's try another one. How about that? <clears throat> okay. Okay. We'll work it together. Okay. Now, um, let's see. This one has money in it, which is not that big of a deal. Okay. So, let's pretend like, it, let's not do money at first. We'll add the decimal and talk about that in a minute. Okay? 35 times 25 is our problem. Okay? Now, I'm going to erase the zero just because it's not important. Okay? okay? The only reason it's there a while ago is because they're going to say 35 cents. So, it's almost like, say we had a pencil that was 35 cents and bought 25 of them. Okay. How much would that cost? Mm -hmm. That's what this problem is really talking about. Okay? But let's just take the numbers because that's what I'm worried, focused on today. Okay. What we're working with. Okay. So tell me what is my very first step, Eli? Add them. Add? Like, oh, we're times them? Yes. Okay, okay, sorry. Multiple. Um, very first step. What number am I working with first? Five. Very good. So you're going to circle it. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do with that five? Uh, multiply it to the five. Very good. First one, yes. Okay. So let's do that. What is five times five? Um, twenty-five. Very good. Twenty-five. Very good. Okay. Carry your two. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're done with that one. Now let's do this one. What is five times three? Uh, fifteen. Very good. Add two Plus more. Two, uh, seventeen. Very good. 175. Okay. Are we done using this number? Yes. Yes. Now, if there's another number here, we do the next number. Okay. But we don't have to because there's not. Okay. So, we're done with it. I'm going to put an X on it. We're done. Okay. That helps me. Okay. Now, we're working with this number, which really means 20. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But we're just working with the 2. Okay. So, I'm going to take this number, circle it. Which number am I going to put first? Again, we're working with this number, 2. Okay. okay, so what's my first step, Eli? Um, 2 going to 5. Yes, 2 times 5. Yeah. Okay, let me erase all these arrows so they're not confusing. Okay, 2 times 5 is? Uh, 10. Okay, 10. Now, where am I going to place this number? Under the 2. Under the 2, because that's the number we're working with. So, I'm going to go under the 2, and I'm going to place a 0, because we said 2 times 5 is 10, and I'm going to carry the 1. Now, see this 2 up here? Mm -hmm. You can either erase it, because we're no longer working with that. That was with when we were working with this 5. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, you can just cross it out if you want to, but we're going to have to put a new number up there, because 5 times 2 is 10, so I'll put a 0 here and carry the 1. Okay. Okay? So, this can come, become confusing for some people, because they forget to cross it out. Yeah. Okay? So, when you, once you notice that you need that, you're going to cross it out and put a 1 there because it's 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. Okay. So, now let's do 2 times 3. Um, the, uh, 6. 6 plus 1 more. 7. 7. I'm going to put a 7. seven okay. Remember, just answer, keep answering. Okay. We're going to put plus. Okay. Can I put what a, should I do with that spot? Put a 0. I would. Okay. Do you notice that multiplying
multiplying and adding got to go together, kind of go together. Guess uh -huh. what? When you're doing dividing, subtracting works with what you're doing. Oh, uh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, multiplying and dividing is what you do when you're working with multiplication, or multiplying and adding is what you do when you're working with multiplications. Okay? So, let's go on and finish. 5 plus 0 is 5. five. 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. Answer would be 875. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave that answer down there, and we're going to do this the other way. 35 times 25, and this time we're going to do 35 times the 1 place, and then 35 times the tens place. Okay, so watch this. 35 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25, you can just watch me. 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17. That gives me 175. Done with that one. Now let's do this one. 35 times, that is a 2, but it's not worth 2. It's worth uh, 10. It's I mean, 12. 12. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. Think with me. If this is 10, this is the 10 spot, and there are two of them. 20. It's worth 20. So I'm going to multiply 35 not times 2, 35 times 20, 20, because that's what it's worth. Yeah. Okay, so. We can, I can put 20 right here, or I'm going to use the hanging zero method that I've taught you before. Uh-huh. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. This one is 7. Bring down my zero. That answer is 700. 700 plus 8 plus 100, 700 plus 175 equals 875. See how it works? So, yeah. honestly, don't care how you do it. Okay. Whichever way you want, you can do it. Both of them make sense, and you can do it either way. Okay? Now, remember a while ago the actual problem was zero point? Like that? Point uh -huh. three five times that? Okay. Do you remember what I told you you do with the answer to a multiplication problem? No. What am I supposed to do with that decimal? You told me earlier today. Bring it down, right? No, no, no count, count. Count. Okay? okay? How many spots are there? After two. the decimal, two. So because math is a right yeah. to left kind of thing, we go one, two. So we're going to start here and go one, two. And put my decimal. So the answer would be? $8.75. You got it? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, let me see if there's anything else I want to share with you about that. All right. They're wanting me to teach you a small amount of this property called the distributive property. Now, I'm going to show you what that means. I'm just going to put prop. All right? And here's the, the question they're wanting me to do. Let me find this. Okay? So, for example, um, Benito, <laughs> what a word, Benito wants to multiply 35 t times 20 plus 4. What is 20 plus 4? 24. 24, okay? So he's basically saying, I want to multiply 35 times 24, right? Uh-huh. Okay. But the distributive property says, I'm going to multiply 35 times 20 and then 35 times 4. It's just a different way of breaking it up, which is what I've been showing the whole time. Uh-huh. But it's, it's using this distributive property. Yeah. That's what that's called, just so you know. Okay? So... There we go. That's the end of lesson 51.